Aquarius, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Deep Soul Tarot. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be doing your energies for the next 30 days. So it's based on July 2023 when I'm recording this. It is a timeless read though. And so if you see this past July, it's okay. When you see it and click on it, there may very well be a message in there for you. And so these are timeless, but they're based on the next 30 days. But right now, it is the end of June, and we're getting energies for July for right now. Okay. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We will be getting, for those of you who are not familiar with my monthly readings, we will be getting some general energies at the top. And then at the bottom, we'll get a little bit more specific with personal, personal growth, I mean, uh, uh, love relationships, relationships in general, but particularly love, personal growth, a job and health, and then um, some advice moving forward. And um, I do recommend watching the whole video. If you aren't able to watch the whole video, we are starting to watch it now, just save it and then watch the other half later because uh, mine or anybody else's videos, because I've done that myself. One more shuffle here. I've done that myself where it doesn't resonate so much in the beginning, but then I go back and watch the second half and there's been many times that the second half, you know, I'm, I'm blown away because there actually is a message in there for me and I'm thinking I would have missed that had I not finished watching it. So I'm just recommending that you watch the whole thing. And again, if you can't do it now, then just save it and watch the rest of it later or, you know, that's up to you. All right, Aquarius, the Hierophant. The hanged man is underneath that. I'm hearing with the higher fence right off the bat, Aquarius. And I'm hearing for you right now. You're feeling like I'm going to use the word judged, but I'm not sure if that's the appropriate word here. You feel like you may be around people, or in. The higher fence is basically a, a spiritual guide or some sort of mentor teacher. And it can be a church, but it can just be an organization as well. And sometimes it can even reflect on society in general. That you may feel that other people are trying to put their morals, ethics, whatever you want to call it, on you. That these are what they believe, so you should too. Now... These people apparently don't know Aquarius very well, right? Because I know that you Aquarians are, for the most part, in general, non-conformist and like to be your own people and very unique, uh, which you are, and genuine and do your own thing. And it's not that, you know, you may follow rules. It's okay. Rules are okay. But, you know, I, I believe that uh, Aquarians may think that, yeah, but sometimes rules are meant to be broken. So... You don't like that solid structure where there's no give or take. It's this is the way it is. And, and we'll see what this is possibly, possibly um, going towards. The Hierophant I also see as kind of like the two sides of every story. You know, there's just because you see it one way doesn't mean... There isn't another way. In other words, like some people, again, only see their way. This is the religion that I am, and anybody else's religion is wrong. Or this is how I conduct my life, and this is what I believe, and this is the way other people, whether it's politics or whatever, this is how other people should believe. Well, that's not the way the world works. It does, unfortunately. But in reality, everybody has their own opinion and way of doing things. Now, Aquarians are usually pretty open-minded. You're humanitarian type people, you're open-minded. So in this particular case, you may stop for a second, and which you may already do, and listen and say, all right, okay, that's, okay, I see your point here. All right, yeah. I'm see seeing things in a different perspective. Okay, shifting just a little. Okay, current self. Trying to make some decision. You Aquarians are deep thinkers. I've known many, many Aquarians. I have a lot of Aquarian friends throughout my life. And not one have I ever met that isn't extremely intelligent. So you're very smart and witty 
And when it comes to making decisions, usually you're pretty good at that. You're pretty good about thinking it through and coming to some conclusion that you want to make a decision. And it's interesting with the two, and the duality in the Hierophant, and now the two and the two of swords, this one has got you at a crossroads. There's something in your life that you're either not wanting to see or in denial about or just not wanting to make that decision. At least not right now, not until you've thought things through. That's where you're at now. But your theme for the next 30 days, what is it with this card? It's come up in, I think, the last three readings. And I shuffle these cards really, really well. Um... This is the the lack mentality card or some sort of loss. In order to move forward, Aquarius, within July 2023 or, or 30 days from whenever you're watching this, um, you may have to take a loss. But see, with this card, it's not a complete loss because it's something may have happened and you've lost something, you'll be losing something, but in reality, it's not a complete loss. And I'll see what, you'll see, maybe see what that is moving on. So you're starting off slow, but you never know what can happen in the middle here. Just going to say that. So your key goal for the month is, yeah, okay, you got to shake things up a little bit here. Aquarius and some of the Aquarius I know just will love doing that I know one Aquarius who loves to debate man he would go off on all these tangents too he would sort of talk to himself but it was like uh, it, would be, it would be interesting to listen to him because it's like what in the earth is he talking about but it was all these conspiracy theories and all that kind of stuff but uh, I, I, I've known him for man wow since like eighth grade so it's been a very long time I haven't talked to him in a long time but um he he was fun to be around, and I love I learned a lot from him too, which I loved. This is an interesting energy here. So what I'm hearing in your situation, Aquarius, is there some sort of situation you're in that requires you to play along, play the game. All right, this is what they do here, and this is this is. Holy crap, is it cold outside? Because all of a sudden I felt this burst of cold air. And I'm usually hot. Um, you usually do your own thing and you're not used to playing the game. Let's, well, let's just play Let's just play the game and see how this goes. There's the new perspective. All right. Let's just see. Let's just see how this goes. So you're at a crossroads. You don't know if you want to go against the grain or if you want to play along. If you go against the grain, you may be ostracized and you may be left out of the cold because it's like, well, that's not how we do things here and sorry. And then, you know, tower moment happens. Or your key goal is maybe to get in, play the game, and then start rattling some chains, rattling the cage there a little bit saying, all right. So I played your way, but what about this? What about that? So it's creating the tower moment where it's like trying to open their eyes so they can see that they're in this, these, they have these blinders on, they're in this box. It's like, come on, man, step outside the box. You're judging me for how I conduct myself? Look at what you all are doing. You're not even willing to see another side to the story. There may be other, you know, different versions of this whatever it may be. See, I don't know what the energy is. So let's let's move along and see what your obstacle might be. Nine of Swords. Okay, Gorgias. <laughs> oh my Lord. You, you know what? You're going right into the fire. You're going right into it. You may have started some tornado going here, some sort of natural disaster in this structure, and they don't know what the F to do. And you're going in full force and say, oh yeah, what about this? Oh yeah, what about that? I don't know, Curious. This is this is kind of amusing me, if if I may tell the truth. Maybe it's not as amusing on your end, your actions. Oh, holy 
crap. Aquarius. I may have to stop doing readings after this. I may have to take a breather. This is crazy. This is wild. This is really wild. Your actions... <laughs> I'm going to say it right here, Aquarius. Your actions... <laughs> Sorry, but it's pure evil. It's pure evil. You're enjoying rattling their cage. They've judged you, and now you are going to say, Oh, yeah? You want to play? Let's play. And then you have this... It's coming from this dark place within you, Aquarius. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not saying it's evil where you mean to be... Well, maybe you do. Uh, mean to be devilish. Um, but evil. It's not coming from an evil place. It's basically coming from a passion within you that's trying to get these people to open their eyes. And it could be a religious group. I don't know. It could be a religious group, but it doesn't have to be. There's some sort of environment you are have contact with home roommates school church you think of anything and there's somebody who's like the leader in this thing whether it's a priest pastor type thing or um like a spiritual person or it could be just be like the person who's the alpha a or the dominant person in your family whether that's a male or a female because it can go either way that's it's masculine energy so it doesn't matter or maybe you have a roommate that tries to to boss everyone around and somebody's got to rattle the cage somebody's got to or it's just going to keep going and because you're involved you're like oh i'm not playing nice anymore i'm not playing nice that's what this is so your action is <laughs> You are here to play the game now. You, know, you want me to play? I'll play. But in my world, when I play, there are no rules. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So here's your, mm -hmm, your, your relationships and personal connections. You're taking control here. Whatever this is. I, can't, I don't want to say it's a love relationship. Because if it's a love relationship, this is not good. <laughs> because it's not a pretty situation. I'm hearing it's just some sort of connection with people in your life. And the emperor, I mean, you know, if, it's, if it is a love relationship, regardless of this, you could be dealing with an Aries. This is an Aries card, but it doesn't have to be. Whatever it is, you're taking control of the situation. If it is a love situation, you're going to take, you, whether you're male or female now, this is masculine energy, you're going to take, take that first step. I want this person. This is who I want. I'm going after it. But if it isn't about love, <laughs> you're taking control of this situation. And, um, yeah, you've got them moving around like puppets. These are your marionettes going like, yeah, oh, yeah. And they're like, holy crap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is like a Shakespearean tragedy. Okay. Personal growth, Aquarius. Strength. <laughs> I want to say it's taken all your strength to not do this. But I think you already have, or you're going to. So... Maybe you've rocked the boat and you rattled some chains or rattled your cage and all this freaking fracking energy is just all over the place. And now it's taking all your strength to not continue to stop. To, to you're going to step back and control yourself. <laughs> control yourself. Because you could just keep going. I'm here and you could just keep going. And... If it's not, if you did not get involved, if you stopped yourself and did not do, even though you thought about doing this, this devil card may be dealing with those inner demons that are being summoned by these people. Maybe you haven't even acted out. And, um, you know, maybe you're going to split from family or you're going to leave this church or you're going to leave the job. You're going to quit school. It's something that's going to change your life completely. And you're, you're, you're trying to get out of there. But uh, with this sword going into the tower, though, this may be something that, you, that I hear this is something you've chosen to do. Oh, boy, Aquarius. Yikes. Perhaps this is your career in health. Well, okay, there's a calmer energy here. Um, all could be good at work. Um, you're in a good position at work. You're making good money. Uh, it looks like your health is good. I don't see any problem here. So everything's going good. 
You maybe have a little bit of high blood pressure though now, Aquarius, so you may want to go to the doctor and have that checked after all this. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> uh, advice. Page of Swords. You know, the Page of Swords is air sign, of course. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I usually see this, even though I don't think it, I don't think it is any specific sign. I think it's all. I always see this for whatever reason as the Gemini card. I just see it as a youthful, free spirity type thing. But I'm hearing here that the Page of Swords doesn't put up with any BS. So um, your advice is um, they're wise. They're very, uh, for as, it's a new, it's a young age, but they're very articulate, they're intelligent, all those uh, aspects of an Aquarius. I'm hearing that you're seeing things clearly. Your eyes are wide open. You're seeing the hypocrisy in here. You're seeing how these people that are saying this, that oh, we accept everyone, we're this, oh no, we're an open group, we love everybody, and then they judge. They judge you or whatever, and, and they're hypocrites. And you can't help but speak your mind. And that's, you know, that's actually a good thing. It can cause problems, even if it's at a job or whatever. Sure, it can rock the boat and cause problems. But you're being your true self, Aquarius. And there was absolutely nothing wrong with that. So your advice is to keep doing what you're doing. Be yourself. Be your own person. Speak your mind. Speak the truth. Um, give them your, your opinion. Um, you're good communicators communicate what's on your mind now I don't even know how to clarify this stuff here well we're gonna start with the two of swords there's a lot to clarify here Aquarius so I this might be a lengthy one my readings are always at least a half an hour uh, what I heard here specifically Aquarius is you're holding you want to say something but you're holding your tongue. You're trying to hold your tongue. Now, whether that worked or not, I'm not sure. Because you're out, you feel like you're out in the cold now. But trying to hold on to your thoughts. Trying to hold on to your sanity while you're making this decision. That's exactly what I heard. The Ace of Wands. And maybe at the last minute you come up with this great idea. And it's, it's something that... Maybe they still weren't happy about. You spoke your mind, but you feel better. You can heal from this now. You're getting some sort of peace, and you're just going to start over somewhere else. I don't know. Let's see what this Five of Pentacles is here, Aquarius. See what I'm saying? If, let's say someone clicked off up here, you know, and then they didn't see the devil card come out, or, or they didn't see anything. Eh, things can change in a reading, you know. Um, there's, oh, there's at least six or seven cards there. I would have taken them, but too many. All right, five of pentacles, please, Spirit. Can you please give me a card or two? Spirit likes to throw, dump a lot of cards in these readings. And uh, I don't mind doing the reading. I don't mind reading them, and, and I could go forever on this stuff, especially with the bottom of the deck. But, you know, these would be like hour-long readings then. You, <laughs> you just had it with these people. You just had it with the situation. Um, <clears throat> for the next 30 days, you may feel some sort of lack in your life. I heard lack of excitement, lack of... You're just blah. You're like, I cannot do this. I cannot. I cannot with these people. I cannot with this person. It's like uh, they've, I'm emotionally drained. I'm emotionally drained. And let me tell you, that cup you're offering me is not going to help. I, I, I'm, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I have to figure something else out. And I don't care if it puts me out in the cold. I don't care if I'm out in the street. I'll figure something else out. That's what I'm hearing. So July may be, or the next 30 days, may be a little bit of a rough road for you. Um, Aquarius, I'm not going to lie. You have the King of Pentacles here, which you have down here in your job. And you're like, you know what? I have my job. I have, I can support myself. The devil's under there again, just so you know. I can support myself. I can take care of myself. I am fully capable of getting what I need on my own. 
I don't really need this stress, this strife, this person, these people, this situation, whatever. Fill in the blank. I don't need this. Tower card, please, spirits. Tower card. This is in your, your key goal. That's interesting that the tower is in your goal. It's time to, I mean, shake it up. If it's your life, maybe just get away from this. And, and like I said, it could be like something like family that they never thought you'd leave. I, this one came out. I'm not going to take all these other ones because there's too many there. But this is the, whatever this, this is, is and it was upright. I just hit it and knocked it over. <clears throat> whatever it is is hurtful to you or people. This is not something you necessarily like doing. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Some people like to rock the boat a little bit and just kind of do things for shock value. Maybe you just did it for shock value. But this is either hurting you or someone else. But it had to be done. And you will. If it's hurting you, you will survive from that. Six of Cups. And maybe this is something from the past. And again, maybe family. Family of friends from the past. It's a past energy here. It's time to let that go. And it could be just be people from the past that you've had in your life for a long time. And you're tired of them, you know, judging. I've heard a number of Aquarians say, uh, there's a reader actually on here who, who said he never actually ever fit in. Because, and you know, people would think he was weird and all this stuff and whatever. And um, I'm, a, I'm a weirdo too. I'm not an Aquarian, but I'm a weirdo myself. Um, and I kind of pride myself on that as well. But he would say that, you know, I don't know, I think people picked on him and whatever. And he's successful now. He's successful on YouTube. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he, I mean, he's told a story on YouTube, but um, he's a great reader. He does tarot reading. I'm going to say his name. His name is Rich Locke. He's been through it and he's successful and he's good at what he does. And he's very inspirational. So if you haven't watched him, please do watch him. He's very good. I think most of his readings are based on love and connections and things like that. But um, but not always. And he does have, I've watched some of his old videos on um, other things that he's done. And he's very wise. And like I said, he's an Aquarian. He himself is Aquarius. He's awesome. I love him. Um, I don't watch him all the time. I used to. But I, I check him out from time to time. Just because I, I like to watch him. Uh, but anyways, moving on. But I'm just saying that... Um, this either brings back bad memories from the past like when you were in school and it's happening now at a job or it's happening in your life as an adult and it's bringing back to your childhood where you're going this happened to me in my childhood you know what the f why does this always happen and it's heartbreaking but then you just decide i'm i don't know if you're just separating yourself knight of swords please spirit i mean this like i said this is going to be a longer one eight of swords Feeling trapped, feeling out in the cold. I still feel, Aquarius, that you feel like isolated in, I don't wanna say in your mind because I mean, you may be thinking about this more than you need to, but it's like, and this is your obstacle. Um, these thoughts, you're thinking of negative things so the devil could be negative thoughts what's on the bottom of the deck yeah i think this isn't good for your your psyche aquarius this isn't good for you as as a person as a human it's you're in a low vibrational you're being sucked into their low vibrational energy and i think you know aquarius this isn't who you really are Sure, you may like to be different. Sure, you may like to go against the grain, but there's nothing wrong with that. I admire Aquarians for that, you know. Um, so, I mean, let people think what they want. But to me, that's an admirable quality. You're not a sheeple. People who follow whatever everybody else does, that drives me absolutely insane. Um, and I've had some, like I said, some very good friends. Who um, One gal who's uh, ten, 10 years younger than me, but we hung out because she was very intelligent. She was in you know, advanced placement classes in, in high school and whatever, and we worked together, and we had the same type of mindset. We had an awesome time. So anyways, I'm going to move on, but this is a new beginning for you. Um, Aquarius, be happy with who you are, the Nine of Cups. 
be happy with who you are. Just because other people may think you're different or what you do isn't right, doesn't mean that that's correct. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, this, this devil energy, your, um, your actions for this month is to let those negative thoughts, that, that low vibrational energy, those negative thoughts, just separate yourself then from these people. Get away from that. You have a lot of swords here. You have the nine, the eight, the page. I think there was other three. Um, there's a lot going on in your head, but I think this is a time to heal from that. And, and get away from that energy. It's time to pick. You have you have options, and it's time to pick it. It's a different choice, a different choice, different friends, different situation, different job, whatever it may be. I am just going to do the page of swords, and then I'm gonna let you go because we're almost at the half an hour mark. You know what? I'm doing the emperor and strength. Switch that. Spirit, Emperor and Strength, please. The two together. Just get one one or two cards just to kind of define that. Four Aquarius, and then we'll do the Page of Swords. For the advice. So this is your connections and your personal growth. Thank you. All right, we got two, two cards. Three cards. All right, so the Fool. The Fool came up upright. The other two came face down, which I feel may be underlying the situation. So it's time for a new beginning for you, Aquarius. The situation, whatever it is, um, as hard as it is to go through, um, you can you can talk to these people or do whatever you can in the situation and try to make them see your way to your blue in the face. They're not going to. If they're that stubborn in their ways, they're not going to. Um, and if they do, there may be one or two people that step out that don't want to be a part of the crowd anymore. They're not, they're not sheeple. They're going to step out and say, you know what? You're right, Aquarius. This is blah, blah, blah. This is wrong. This is whatever. So in time, you may get one or two people that step away. But when you have a group like this that have such strict ways of thinking and they just do not want to compromise that, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Underlying this all, the Empress and the Justice. First with the Empress, you know what I heard, Aquarius? Some of these people actually envy you. They're actually jealous of the fact that you don't follow the crowd that you don't conform that you have a mind of your own they wish they could do the same thing it's almost like being in a sorority you know how you ever if you watch those i've never been in a sorority never really wanted to per se but um but uh wouldn't be my thing it'll be too 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 many strict whatever you want to call it everyone kind of they're all like stepford wife type people i don't know um I like more of the funky, creative, you know, do my own thing, have my hair blue, green thing, <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, the more accepting of everything, every little thing. Um, this is, you have a power about you that some of these people are actually jealous or envious of. And that's even, that's fueling them to even be more ostracizing to you. Like, oh, why well, do you do what you do? But deep down, they wish they could. So you step into that Empress power. You get that strength back, Aquarius. And your truth is all that matters doesn't matter what other people say it doesn't matter they're probably they're in genuine comments they're lies they're whatever they're fake I'm not saying all of them but a lot of them could be fake you want to justice have everything balanced out everything is truth and true to yourself all right we have the seven of wands you feel like you may need to defend yourself but stand your ground you don't have to you're bigger than these people and they're, they're uh, tiny little minds. <laughs> they're, I can't think of their, uh, oh, I can't think of the word. I'm probably too tired doing too many readings. But there's a word that they just are ignorant. That's kind of what I'm thinking. They're just ignorant in their own little ignorance of their world that they just don't see what you and other Aquarians may see. You know, sometimes other people see it too. Page of swords, page of swords. And that's why I get along with Geminis also. Um, I mean, I like Libras. I don't know that many Libras. So the, Libra, li, la, 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 the Libras that I do know are pretty cool and fun to be around. Um, Page of Swords. Now, this is the last card here. It came in reverse. The Four of Swords is about recharging yourself and um, like meditation and taking time out to rethink things through. Then you can move forward. But it came in reverse. So with your advice is once you speak your mind, once you clear the air, speak your mind, 
you know, let them know you're not going to put up with their BS or you, you're not on the same page as them with that BS, then you're going you're, you're gonna to need to take some time out for yourself and you may not do that. So your advice is to take some time out and just recharge, you know, and um, just leave these people alone. Don't even bother. Yeah, pick and choose your battles, the Five of Swords. It's, it's going to be a never-ending battle, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Half an hour, so sorry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped. If you do, smash that like button. Subscribe, join the tribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.